All right, we're moving forward with this damn truck. Last time you saw us put a turbo and an exhaust, a four inch exhaust on this first gen Cummins. But we want to make sure that we don't blow it up in the pursuit of more power and try to blow it up. So most importantly, we have a pyrometer which will measure our exhaust gas temperatures. You want to keep that under 1600 because that's the danger zone. And a boost gauge so we know how much freaking boost, freaking power we're putting out of this turbo. Let's get these things into there. So here we are under the hood. If you look at this guy right there, that's gonna come out and we'll go our NPT fitting, which we will then run to the boost gauge. It is super simple. Fitting in to the gauge, done. Okay, the plug is out of the head now. We take the fitting, which is just eighth inch NPT, which is the same as the head. Wrap it with a little Teflon tape. We're gonna thread this one in there. Go from there. All right, we got the little line ran through the firewall. We're gonna clean this up, but for now, this is about where we're going. Gonna get the outside part first. That's the female. Then you're gonna take this bushing or, or ferrule, not sure what it is, slip that over just like that. Then you're going to insert these into the fitting on the head. Insert that as far as it'll go. And when you tighten the female, it'll pull everything together. And before we worry about the line, we're gonna prep the gauge. It's a little Teflon tape. No, I don't need to, it's perfect. It's perfect. Good enough for my subscribers. And then we just thread this guy half inch. Doesn't have to be crazy tight. Now we resume with this guy. Push the line in. Can we have that bushing in? Behind it all is the female. Screw the female on. And we take our handy dandy 3 8 Remember, you don't have to do these too tight. That's probably plenty right there. And there's a boost gauge. Fired up. Where my damn keys? Great. He locked his keys in the truck once, now he lost them completely. We're at the bump yeah. start it. <laughs> this video is an hour late because I locked the keys in my truck. We got it unlocked though. Low plugs a little bit. Oh, it's broken. Nah, just kidding. We're idling. I don't think it makes boost it and still. One pound. In case you were wondering, in case you were wondering, a stock first gen with an HX 35 turbo makes one PSI, almost full throttle, not quite, idling. Let's go hit the road. Hillbilly Deluxe. Yeah, buddy. I was gonna get the gauge that said vacuum, you know, it's a boost fat gauge. So it tells you when you're running less than a uh, zero PSI gauge, so negative pressure. But why do I wanna know when I'm making less than zero pressure? I wanna know when I'm hauling ass, you know? We're winners. We wanna know when we freaking fly down the road. Not when we're going slow, not when we're sitting still, who cares? How little pressure are you making? We want to know how much pressure you're making. That's so negative. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Oh, just doing a little, a little pull, open her up. Oh, you believe that? Nice. Ah. You gotta see how this goes. 
right, boost gauge is looking good. So second half of this extravaganza, it's a pyrometer, which involves drilling the exhaust manifold, putting in this temp sensor, hooking it up to power and to this pyro gauge. <laughs> okay, quick breakdown. This is a twin scroll setup. So you have a divider in here. Ow, that's hot. You have a divider in the turbo as well. And it splits into the front three cylinders and the rear three cylinders. And long story short, it helps with power and efficiency, but you divide those up, which means when we drill this, we need to think about where we're drilling. We don't want to hit that divider. We know, if you didn't know, <laughs> we know that the Cummins is hottest in cylinders four, five, and six. That's the back, that's this back half of the scroll. So we want to measure those hottest cylinders just so that we're seeing the hottest temperatures that we're going to get. So we're going to send it right about here and measure those hottest three cylinders. So let's send her. There's our dimple. Uh, before we start getting into it, we're gonna turn the truck on. Uh, it's gonna help blow any chips out of the hole that we make. Getting a little grease on the tap. And you might be thinking it's to help the cutting. Uh, it might do that, I don't know. What it's gonna do is capture most of the chips that are cut when we tap this thing. Okay, with the hole drilled and tapped, right here in that exhaust manifold, boom, left side, cylinders four, five, six. Then we just ran our actual pyrometer through the firewall Kind of ran it along the wiring harness in the back a little bit so that it will line up here. But before we put that in there, we're going to take our fitting, comes with it. See the spot for the set screw to lock the pyrometer in place. And we're just going to thread this down into the hole that we just drilled and tapped. Okay, we got that into place and tighten it down with a wrench. Be careful not to cross thread it. Uh, tapered threads serve their purpose but sometimes they kind of suck so be careful here's the tip of the pyrometer and it will go all the way down because I'm a little bit vertical if I angled it back a bit it would probably hit the wall I'm actually going pretty far down maybe even close to that turbo so that's all the way out this is down as it'll go I'm gonna go about there try to get the center relatively centered on that airstream there's a small set screw. I'm gonna let go of this for now. That we probably should have started. Probably should have put this in before we did anything. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna drop this set screw into the dirt. That's why they give you two. <laughs> Thank you, Autometer. Oh. <laughs> Don't watch. Fast forward this part. Plug your ears, kids. <laughs> oh, I think you got it. They call oh. me. They call me the set screwer. No one calls me that. Yet. And voila, the pyrometer is installed. All right, let's go burn this thing up. Hey, don't be pushing all them buttons. <laughs> <laughs> so last step of this was to hook up the actual pyrometer wire as well as the other wires to the gauge. Uh, to this fitting that then plugs into the gauge, this, this plug. So we had the wires that are just hooked up to the pyrometer. That part's already done. Obviously it just gets ran. But then these two wires uh, are hooked up on this one. We didn't hook up the white one right now. So our red is to our ignition switch so that whenever the truck is in the on position, it's actually showing up on the gauge. And then the black is to ground. White would be to your headlight switch. I just didn't do it yet because it's a mess down there and 
I'll tackle that another day. Right now, I don't really, uh, I'm not really worried about it. Anywho, once you have all your wires ran and hooked up, all you do is plug it into the back of your gauge. Come on, baby. Just like that. Then you have a pyrometer gauge. start to heat up as I give it a little more fuel and as the truck comes back to temperature. But yeah, that's working. Uh, just a note, when you kill it, it stays in the position which you killed it at. Uh, it's not drawing any power, it's just staying there. Um, if I put the key back in it, it'll go back down to zero and then come back up where the actual reading is. We're good there. Whoa, bro, sick gauge pod, bro. In case you're wondering, I taped these really nice auto meter gauges on top of the dash. That way it motivates me to get the rest of the gauges that I need for this truck and then make something nice. If I made a halfway decent uh, mount for this, then I would probably never change it. So hopefully the tape bothers me and motivates me enough to get the whole dash done and then I won't have to worry about it. So that sums up our quick little video on how to do the boost gauge and the pyrometer on a first gen, but it's the same concept for any vehicle really. So please stay tuned because the next thing we're gonna the next thing we're gonna do is pump this thing up. We're gonna get a fuel pin and a governor spring installed so it'll really wake this truck up. We're gonna see what uh, what kind of power we can put out. So thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.